Alright, so for today we're going to be making this super cute and fun animation by just using PowerPoint. And if you are a complete beginner and you have no tech skill at all whatsoever, this video and this channel is just right for you. Don't be afraid that it's going to be difficult. I will show you step by step how to make this and we will have fun together. But before we go ahead and do that, if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. Also ring the bell icon as well and maybe hit that a little bit of a like icon as well. It means a lot to me. Alright, without further ado, let's get ahead and jump to it. Alright, so let's start. Um, first, we have to select the rectangle shape and it's looks like a square shape but of course you're gonna make it rectangle and this is going to be the seesaw itself all right and um, the size of it it's up to you and of course the length is also up to you as well but I want you to rotate it and make it a little bit more like a 30 degree um, either to the left or to the right that's fine too so one end needs to be a little bit taller than the other end of course and then you're gonna need the handle for the seesaw and of course you're gonna need only just a simple rectangle shape um, so it's gonna look like a rod shape um, in this case and after that uh, you have to duplicate that shape because we need two so one on the right side and the other one on the left side so of course you're gonna need two players for this um, seesaw and now we're gonna create a little boy and then a little girl to sit on and you just need a circle as a head and like a triangle as a body this is the easy way um, to make a cartoon character um, you can also you know find it online um, like a free PNG picture online as well um, but I make it myself so you know just so you can see that it's not that difficult to make cartoon character um, by using a simple shapes from PowerPoint. Okay, let me adjust this length a little bit. Sorry, the width of the seesaw a little bit. And um, I use the uh, this shape um, that's just to look like uh, a shorts and for the boy, and that is the trapezoid. Okay, I forgot the word, sorry guys. Okay, the trapezoid um, to be the boy's um, shorts. And now we're going to create, um, let's see. Mm, okay, so I will check on this first. Okay, I think this is good. All right, so the rectangle is gonna serve as an arm of the boy. And then we need this L shape a uh, kind of a shape of course and this is going to serve as our boy's leg and you don't need to because right now we're looking um, side view and you it's okay to see one leg because the other one it's on the other side and you might not see it because it's overlapping um, with this one okay and um, you just want to adjust the size and of course so the location of everything make sure that you right click and then bring the pants to the front and then um, you want to select on head arm and the leg and then you select the shape fill to be the same color um, and no shape outlines of course and then with the shirt you can also change the sh uh, shirt um, color as you wish and of course I like it with no shape outline and I like it this one I'm gonna change the color of the seesaw as well and in order to select everything you have to click on one um, shape and then hold down the control on your keyboard and then keep 
selecting the things that you want to select together and then change everything all at once let me adjust the position and the um, the angle of the arm a little bit now i want that right arm to be on the back so you right click and send that right onto the back and the left arm of course is gonna be in the front and as you can see it's just looking like the boy is holding the handle so let me just move the handle a little bit closer to him all right now it's looking much much better and uh, okay so we have the left side that we need to fill up with something and that's gonna be a girl okay in order let me sorry let me adjust the um the size of the pants and then um the shirt of the boys a little bit um right here and okay so that's it all right um and i want you just like everything cover everything and you kind of um sorry so let me just cover everything first and you control and g on your keyboard um to group everything and then control d to duplicate this and of course you are going to delete that handle from the picture okay so now you have two similar well actually the same cartoon character and you want to flip this um to the opposite side so it looks like the boy is facing another boy on the right side and you can just adjust the location of the handle um, a little bit so it be on the exact location where you want it to be and then you make sure that you ungroup everything first because you know we're gonna do that afterward and then for this one as well you want to make sure that you click on this right click and you want to go to group and ungroup it first so that you can adjust everything easier um, go to the short this you have to rotate it and upside down it kind of things and it's gonna boom be a skirt so now we change our little boys to our little girl and then you adjust the size a little bit because the girl looks a little shabby in this in this picture here so i'm gonna adjust the size of her skirt in their shirt a little bit and then you are going to reposition everything um to make it look natural a little bit so this is gonna be her her right arm it's gonna be in the front which is uh, our near side and then the left arm is gonna be actually the the po the back of the handle so i cover everything whenever i want to move things together so that everything will move at once um and then sorry let me just move this handle here a little bit so you select the left arm and then you right click go to send to back then send to back now you have the left arm um, in the back of the handle and now i'm going to adjust the position of the leg a little bit so like i said just move things around make sure everything looks the natural you can also create a new girl um character you don't have to copy from the little boy but i think this is so much easier and then i'm gonna change the color of the girl's outfit of course mm, it's gonna be pink skirt and then a little bit of a like a light pink i would say um for the shirt okay i like this this is much much better then you make sure you bring the head to the front of course right click to the head bring to front and bring to front okay so now you got everything you want to cover everything together then Control and g on your keyboard that means you're going to group everything together in one piece it will become one piece and then oh, sorry let me adjust this uh, their thickness i think it looks a little bit like too thick and then okay that's it all right so um sorry let me try to kind of adjust the uh the the angle of the seesaw a little bit to see if it's better um if i tilt it a little bit more or if i rotate it a little bit more but that's okay i think i'm gonna go with this i like it a little better like this i think okay let's see mm, i'm going to uh, zoom out for you guys now you're gonna add the fulcrum of the seesaw and it's gonna be triangle shape you want to just put it in the middle but how you do that um sorry let me just you know change the color real quick 
So you put that in the middle, you click on one um, triangle, control and click on another one. Um, big picture, go to arrange, align, select, align center. Okay, then you're gonna have the, the triangle to be the center of your big picture. And then you add the animation. The animation you want is the emphasis for a spin. Okay, you want to go to effect and make sure that you set 30 uh, degree clockwise. And for duration, let's see, maybe try slow and then with previous. For repeats, um, I would say until next click would be good. And you want to go auto reverse as well. All right, so I think it's super slow. Let me change that. Okay, let's try medium. So you can actually, you know, set this around. Um, you can just set it fast, set it slow, it's up to you. Uh, I think, all right, let's see. I think this is too slow for me. All right, so I'll go change the duration to be fast or one second. Okay, this is much better. All right, so we finish with the season and then tool kit here. Now we're gonna have to add some stuff to the scene. All right, so select the um, the rectangle shape and just go ahead and drag it. Make sure you uh, right click and send that to the back as well. Change this triangle to be something green because this is going to be our playground so it's like a grass color and um, you're not you're not gonna want um sorry guys you're not gonna want an outline of course and um so not only that we're gonna add some trees here um actually just only one tree would be enough okay so with trapezoid um shape and i'm just gonna put it on the right side here this is gonna be the tree and of course you're gonna need some branches in this case i'm gonna make one branch um for you guys to see how you can actually make you know trees by just a simple shape and then we have a cloud shaped which in this case is going to be our leaves for the tree okay um and then you can just adjust the size of the tree, adjust the size of the leaves and the height, the width, the angle and everything. And you can actually add more branches, you can add um, more trees, you can have like two, three, four trees, whatever you want. Um, you can make it, you know, bigger, wider than this as well. And then you just have to change the color you select the color for your leaves and then select the color for your stem for the tree and it's gonna be brown and green of course but if you're into fall then maybe it would be orange all right so um, I'm just gonna add some shape outline here so it serves like a like a shadow kind of thing okay so let's see I think this is good. I'm gonna add some cloud and this is gonna add some effect to the cloud. So um, what I want you to do is create a cloud, but not um, um, into the scene, but like on the side. So it's not gonna be inside the scene. Okay, it's gonna be on the side of the scene. And then you go to format background. You want to make sure that you um, select something like a light blue um, serving as a sky. And then your, your your cloud is going to be white and you can also add some outline as well and I want to so you go ahead and duplicate the, the crown of oh, sorry the cloud by control D and you add the animations um, fly in from left and the duration let's try 40 seconds because I want it to be super slow and with previous and you click on the second cloud or the second one and you select delay for 20 seconds all right and look at the cloud it's actually moving pretty slow um so then you know it looks a little bit natural if it's slow because you if it goes fast then it's gonna be um totally fake and uh, you can also add eyes um hairs or even like 
of hats or some other stuffs、um, to the boy and the girl, or maybe shoes. That's up to you.、Um, it's gonna be very very easy to add those, and I have some videos that I made, cute little boys and girls as well. So you can also check it out.、Um, it's a brushing teeth video, and like you can see here. Um, you have this cloud, and you want to make sure don't forget to bring that to the back, the cloud to the back, or else it's gonna going past the tree right here. But I have the other version that I would like to show you. All right, so in this version, I added some stuffs and I also changed something.、Um, I make the seats a little bit thinner. The girl and the boy are actually a little,、uh, a little bit bigger. I also sent the clouds to the back of the tree already, and of course, I added the small and cute wind turbines on the bottom right corner, which actually I have the link here on the top right, so you can go check that out. How I made this, and it's super easy. All right, guys, so don't forget to leave down the comment how you feel about this video, and if you have any problems. Any questions at all? Let me know in the comment as well. And don't forget to check out the Facebook and Instagram and follow them. And of course, if you don't want to do it yourself, I have the link ready done for you.、Uh, files for you to download、um, in the, the link in the description below. And of course, thanks for watching and tuning out. Thanks for sticking with me until the end. And please keep making your own animation and stick with my YouTube channel as well. Thank Well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.